Thank you, Mr. Deputy President. I rise to take note of the answer from the Minister of uh, Immigration and Border Protection, Senator Cash, to a question asked by myself. And I want to just say completely at the outset that this is a really serious issue for Minister Dutton to label the inquiry a witch hunt before it started, for uh, coalition senators to denigrate the excellent work done by the Secretariat and the committee as a whole is actually really not disappointing. It's deeply concerning. Now we're not talking about uh, you know a, a to and fro issue here. You're not talking about a bit of political point scoring. We're talking about human beings, the way they've been treated, their redress to justice and law, and we know that the tiniest republic in the world, Nauru place of only 10,000 people, with a GDP of 112 million US dollars, has had this regional processing centre negotiated and agreed between Labor and both Labor and Liberals uh, placed there. We know that the Chief Magistrate um, had his visa cancelled and left. We know that the Australian Federal Police Officer charged with um, assisting and training the Nauru Police Force had his, um, you know, his uh, sort of uh, his position terminated. We know that the chief magistrate, the chief justice, and the Australian Federal Police, assisting the tiniest republic in the world to upgrade their justice systems and their legal systems and their police forces, have all been uh, thrown out, so to speak. We know that it's eight thousand dollars non-refundable for a journalist uh, to apply for a visa. You pay your eight thousand, no guarantee of getting there, and we know that all of these collectively and combined uh, create an, an atmosphere of no transparency. And the allegations that we got were not simply just publicised; they were sent to the respective people that they concern for adverse comment. And if there was uh, um, you know evidence that uh, that uh, rebutted the allegations, they were published together. It was a very, very careful process and involved almost all of the resources that uh, resource committees of the Senate. The advice was taken from all of the people who normally provide this excellent uh, committee system. And we, you know, we produced a report which has some very serious uh, uh, recommendations. And to have those uh, decried or denigrated is really deeply concerning to me as the chair of the committee and anybody who served on that committee, I believe. But more importantly, we're talking about Australia. Australia is the best country in the world. We all know that. But we have to be seen to be doing the right thing. We have to show the world we are doing the right thing. We can't do that when we have an, an area where people can't go and investigate. We can't do that when we have allegations that the Nauru and police force lack the forensic capabilities of adjudicating in a rape case, where there are no child protection laws. And we can't have a minister who is actually capable of looking the other way when human beings are not being afforded basic principles of human dignity and the same rights that we would expect any Australian to have. We can't have a minister looking the other way and saying, it's all down to the government of Nauru, because we know from the evidence that the government of Nauru doesn't have the wherewithal in their justice system, system in their prosecutorial system and in their police system to actually do the things that are needed to be done. There are allegations that people have been raped and it's not been acted on. There are allegations of child assault and they're not been acted upon. There are allegations of reprehensible behaviour of contractors paid for by Australian taxpayers, and there is no justice to be seen to be delivered there. We can't have that. We are Australians. These people are entitled to humane protection under our you know, spend of taxpayers' dollar. And if you were to take just even the simplest recommendation, that when they're spending money in Nauru, they're actually subjected to parliamentary scrutiny. That's what they're supposed to do, and they haven't followed that. The most basic principles of transparency and probity haven't been followed, 
is reprehensible and the Minister should make every one of those recommendations. Senator, your time